There is another type of amplifier which does not have any resistance in the feedback circuit. So this amplifier is called the voltage follower amplifier. So whatever is the input, same is the output. That means V out is equal to V input. Next we learn about the cascading of the operational amplifier. Cascading means joining more than one amplifier as you can see from here. We have two circuits. This is one circuit joined with another amplifier circuit. The way we solve is that we uh, find out the output of the first circuit. So in this case, we need to find VA and then we use this VA as input to the second circuit and we find the output of the second circuit. Now if you look carefully, uh, both these amplifiers are non-inverting because the input signal is applied to the positive terminal and uh, if you remember the formula of non-inverting okay we have to determine the output voltage and also we have to determine the uh, output current or current I naught in this circuit. So this was the formula for non-inverting amplifiers. We we'll used this in the first case and also in the second case. In the first case, RF is 12 and R1 is 3. So plug in that value here. We find VA, that is the voltage at this point, is 1 plus the feedback 12K divided by R1 3K multiplied by input 20 milli. So VA becomes 100 millivolt. Now this VA is applied to the second circuit which becomes the input uh, for the second circuit and again we will put use the same formula. Now in this case the feedback resistance is 10, so 10 kilo and the uh, R1 resistance is 4 kilo, 4 kilo and VA uh, which we calculated to be 100 millivolts, so we'll plug in that, and now the final current uh, voltage, output voltage becomes 350 millivolts. So this was the first part. Now to find the current I naught, we have the output voltage, and from here we can see that the current is going from V naught to V B. So V naught to V B that was V0 minus VB divided by this resistance 10K and how much is VB? VB is same as VA and VA we have found to be 100 millivolt. So VB is equal to VA is equal to 100 millivolt. So we put that value here and we can calculate I0 to be 25 micro ampere. Let's do another example. Now you can see in this circuit we have the amplifier without a resistance. That means this is a voltage follower. So whatever is the input will become its output. This amplifier the voltage is applied at the negative terminus the, and the positive terminus is grounded. That means this is a simple inverting amplifier. So first of all we find these two uh, output of these two. Let's name this output as VA or A terminal and this as VB or B terminal. So VA as we discussed since it is a voltage follower so whatever is the input that will be the output. So VA is equal to 2 volt. Now in this case we have to calculate by the inverting formula. So we use the formula RF over R1 for 50 over 10, 50 over 10 multiply by input. So VB in this case becomes 0 0.7 uh, minus 7.5 volt. Now if you can see that this is a summing amplifier, one input through this resistance and the other input through this resistance. So this is a summing amplifier, so we'll use the uh, two input summing amplifier formula and now in this case RF is 60, R1 is 20 and R2 is 30. So we'll put these values along with the input voltages and the output voltage comes to be 9 volt. 
So I hope you got some idea of how to use the operational amplifier.